We're here to play football manager up until that point. This is our start to the league season. Uh, we won away to SV Reed. We drew at home against Salzburg. Dang it, right? But the main attraction has been the transfer business once the Euros were done. Uh, we did make some significant sales on the last stream. Uh, the Luxemburger Paul Skanderovich was sold for $23 million to Kuhn. Uh, that was uh, a tough decision to make, but at the same time, one that we always knew was right. But we made some signings. We brought in Adrian Rodriguez for $7 million, a ball-winning midfielder finally to step into the team and actually win us possession every once in a while, just every once in a blue moon. We signed goalkeeper Mark Aaron Wolf, uh, a young, hot prospect from Germany who very well could take the first team spot like this year. And we signed forward Xander Henneman of Belgium. Just our second Belgian in the entire save after Rocky Bashiri. So Xander Henneman is in. And of course, Paulo Cesar joined us right at the end of the last stream. So you might already know who he is. And uh, one more thing we need to get to. This one goes out to all my homies. All my homies on YouTube. <clears throat> Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all this time you'd like to watch this video. <clears throat> so, we want to sign Victor Leandro, excellent 18 year old Brazilian goalkeeper. Uh, he is a realist, outspoken, volatile, confrontational. Well, he fits right in with the rest of our outspoken, volatile, and confrontational team. Uh, the release clause is 17 million. I'm assuming that is the only thing they will accept. It is worth asking below that amount, um, but they really are only going to take 17 million. So I'm going to offer 17 million for Victor Leandro. I don't have a dad joke today, so I'm just going to tell my dream from last night again. There was a stream of showdown, but instead of being on Twitch, it was at a beach, and instead of FM, it was foosball. Zealand won because he put five more players on the table, and somehow no one noticed that. I'm so happy with the asking price system in Football Manager that it just cost me Vincent Brody. That's great. Now I gotta sell Vince Brody. Oh, the asking price changed underneath Vince Brody's previously agreed asking price. So when I offered him out at that asking price, he said I'd treated him unfairly too many times. And the only option really was to leave because the asking price he'd agreed to less than a month ago was no longer valid, uh, which obviously I should have known. I mean, I don't know how I, uh, I don't know how I could have missed that. I really, uh, I really don't. Cool, cool. Cool, bro. This one's gonna hurt. This one is going to hurt. Because this kid stepped up and was such a good player for us after we sold Akos Keskes. We sold Akos Keskes. We're like, yeah, I guess we just need to bring this 19 year old into the starting lineup. And the Mohawked Bosnian Boyan Brodnyak stepped into the lineup. Stepped into the lineup and made a difference. For three years, he won Austrian Player of the Year one year. The Mohawk Bro signed from Sarajevo for 2.3 million. He ends his career with 67 league appearances and six league goals, as well as, uh, you know, let's look at, look at those uh, competitions. He won the cup. He won the Admiral Bundesliga as part of the Dorfer's back line. Player of the year, supporters player of the year, team of the year. Best center back we have had in this save. Boyan Brodnyak is on his move to Dinamo for 15 million. Torbjörnsen, Novai, Sjögren, Jakobsen, Nanadvari, Sapata, Garcon, Vanderhorst, Kuba, Balaz, Henneman. Uh, we'll, we'll start Rusu instead of Henneman. 
Uh, Rodriguez is the depth option. Brody working on his move. Madu doesn't even have a loan option in front of him, which is, you know, great. Sturmgrat's been playing this formation for years, and I really just think they should fire their manager so I don't have to deal with it anymore. It'd be great. And Rusu carrying for Balaz. Yep, here we go. Paul Rusu in for Xander Hinneman. The only change. First match of the stream. Well, let's get it. It's just really good in the air. And he misread that one, but that, that really shouldn't be happening. Oh, great give and go. Really? That was the play? That was the play we made. Vanderhorst. Oh, Kuba! Why is every chance following to my worst goal scorer out of my front six? Oh, Balas! I want wins to start the season. You've never started the season well, and now here we go. Now here we go. Rusu! Holy smokes! That's a totally fun formation that I really enjoy playing against. Thank you so much. Hit the ball, get up the field. Dinelli made a really nice. Oh! Ulrich, cheeky. Oh, wait for the overlap. Wait for him to get there. Make his job way too hard. Ulrich is really excited to get up the field. Zapata. Yes, not Advari. Christian Kuba! Oh! Now that has come from absolutely nothing. A stunning goal from Christian Kuba. I, I literally just called him the worst goal scorer in our front six and he does this. How am I supposed to react to that? Look at this. Well, he doesn't have a lot of finishing, but apparently his like flare technique and long shots are plenty good enough for great goals. This is looking sweet right here. Look at this play. Drop it back. No way. That, oh my. We're rewatching the whole thing from the kick. That was, I mean, this is liquid. This is nasty. Give me, give me, give me, give the director. Give me the director. This is nasty. Good pressure on the fullback. Not at Vari with the steal. Into the middle of Balaz. Down for Vanderhorst. Garcon. Kuba. Pops it into the channel. Unreal. Balaz draws two back to Sirgan Jakobsen. He walks in and shelves it. That is so good. Well done. Yeah, it's a good win. I'm not super happy with the overall performance but it was definitely a good win i have noticed that my players aged 20 to 21 are developing more than players aged 18 to 19 like vanderhorst we need to find a way to replace that because victor leandro is coming in as a we have 50s we have 56 million dollars in our transfer budget at Florence Dorfer AC. Fabrizio, start tweeting, baby. Fabrizio, start tweeting, because $17 million for Victor Leandro. He's got those long arms, that jumping reach, that obscene potentially just turned 18 years old. He's going to be our goalkeeper forever. I think Victor Leandro is going to be the number one, and Mark Aaron Wolf is going to be our cup goalkeeper until the end of the save, if I had to be completely honest with you. Victor Leandro. Welcome to Florence Store for the most expensive signing in Florence Store for like history. That's Reno Badger. Oh, and of course, Victor Leandro makes his goalkeeping debut. How could I possibly forget about our highest ever, the biggest, largest, most important ever signing? <sighs> Let's get it! Victor Leandro, the big nine niner. Gonna take Kevin Dawson's number, the big nine niner, Victor Leandro. Get him.
We got bit of we got rid of Boyan for this guy. Um, we'll take Novais and I think we'll play that for now. We might slow things down later, but we got to go to our classic man down formation that we use. Let's get a goal then. Uh, turnover. All us. All us. All us. In the middle. Vanderhorst. Paul Rusu. Vanderhorst. Mate. Christian. Christian Kuba. Um, okay. Oh, will you just stay with Huskovich, please? Goodness me. Uh, is he on there? Nice rush. A frustrating result. Absolutely. A frustrating result. But Manuel Oberschmied just cost us two points there. Yeah, it's frustrating. Apparently, St. Poulton's the best team in the league now. They've won their first four matches. So we're going Leandro, Sjögren Jakobsen, Torbjörnsen, Novaish. Nanadvari is actually not fit. That is so annoying. How did that happen? Um, Hector, Hellman, Zapata. Gar I didn't expect that. We had three days of rest, which is natural fitness. Ten. I guess it is a little low. He needs to be babied. Zapata, uh, Garcon, Vanderhorst, Kuba, Balaz, Rusu. That's the team. This is the final round of playoffs in the Europa League before the group stage. It's what we qualified for by finishing third in our league. Even though we made the Champions League quarterfinals last year and we need to be able to beat a team like this. Huge match. Huge match for the lads to get to the Europa League group stage. Which is a level that quite honestly our team should be at. Novaish just going for it. Oh, Vanderhorst, Balaz, one more, one more, Garcon, dude, why? Oh, yeah, Siogrini Jakobsen, yes. Oh, Garcon, he's got him, it's Rusu. Yes, Siogrini Jakobsen's eating this guy alive out here. That was nice, that was really classy. Siogrini Jakobsen with that work rate onto Balaz, and that is uncharacteristically awful. From Mate Balas. Yes, not Advari. Kuba. Quickly up to the forwards. Balas. The runs are coming in the middle. You're gonna have to slow this down. Christian Kuba. Zapata does really well there. Zapata! Ten shots to none. Controlling the game. We are the team with the ball. Nice. Winning the second ball. Vanderhorst. Yes, Kuba to Balaz! Oh my... Hit the target! Right back where we... We're right back where we left it in the first half. Let's go, Balaz. Balaz. Oh, nice. Mate, Vanderhorst! Dude, it's gotta go in! It has to go in! There's no way it doesn't go in! Owen Vanderhorst is going to score this goal. One, two, they're out of guys to block the shots. I don't care. Put the ball in the net. Thank you, Owen. Thank you. There you go, Vanderhorst. That's the intensity I want us closing down with because it forces those passes. Oh, is he on? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, huh. Darn right. Couple of offensive rebounds for... Uh, Vanderhorst. Oh. I'm liking the play out of the back as well. I think that helps us control the game a little bit more now that we have two center backs that we can trust with that. Ooh, shut it. Balas! Oh, no way. There is no way that he went for that. Oh! And a second goal, perhaps. Just maybe to make this a little more comfortable. Oh! Come on now. Come on now. Let's grab a second, maybe hopefully a third. We've been that dominant today. 
Good movement from Kim. Garcon, Henneman, Balaz, back to Henneman! Oh my god. At least he hit the target. We don't usually do that. Uh, isn't a bad idea. And our counter press is going to win the ball back right away. So, Zapata, Kim Yun Q. Owen oh, Vanderhorst! Owen oh, Vanderhorst! Let's go! Yes, big boy, let's go! Show those forwards how to score a freaking goal, okay? Ah, it's a good pass by Kim. What a, I mean, what a goal. That is the most dominant 2 0 you're ever going to see. We just won 2 0 on 4.27 XG. So, <laughs> thank you, Vanderhorst. Monte Bellas, Paul Russo, and Henneman. All three of them, shocking. Shocking trying to score goals. Sjogren Jakobsen was great. Your passing was brilliant in the last match. Okay, we need three points. We're playing St. Poulton. Oberschmied suspended because he's an absolute fool. Okay. I'm going to go with Rodriguez and ball winner on support. We'll just see how that plays today because that's actually not, this is not the day to do that because tactically they do not have somebody in that spot. So we're going to go back to Garzon. Just let him do his thing with Kim, Kuba, and Sestak running around. Rotation abound, and if we take a lead, then we'll bring Malblanche in at center back to kind of try and see this out. Paulo Cesar there as well. We'll play him for Christian Cuba because we got to be able to trust these guys. So this is the top team in the league. Let's go beat them. They've won their first four matches after getting promoted. Relax. Play your natural game. What's the crowd turn out? Because we're playing in a 68,000 seater. 69. What is it? 69. We're playing in the national team stadium while our stadium has seats added. Oh, what a header. Ref, ref, ref. Oh, no. There was a double slide tackle in the box. I'm going to go ahead and give us this penalty. All right, we got it. Great header. And now it's Don Rogel, who sneakily is the best penalty taker in this lineup. And obviously a little fortunate, but after getting a fifth minute red card, we'll take a little fortune. Way to swing it back. Regal, that's just a perfect place to put that ball. Now Dudvari. Ooh, yeah! Welcome back to the top flight, St. Putin. Good save. I hate this is the worst play in FM. This is the worst play in FM. I mean, great save by Victor Leandro, but time to watch the streams so hello twitch from youtube Tim Stein, don't worry about it nice hit by paulo cesar there i'm glad you're here glad you, you're up to six months dude wow. up to six months sudden got a son chest stack Rusu. hit him in wow this guy's gonna score one goal in his entire career Oh, Sheldon! Even the guy that was born in Alaska, it also has uh, Mexican citizenship. So that 16-year-old that plays for Seattle Sounders can play for either team. Uh, well done. Yeah, we just beat the team that was technically top of the league there. Yeah, we just need to build on these performances, keep on attacking teams. And even though we've got that annoying second draw because Oberschmied couldn't keep it together for five minutes. Okay. Sjögren Jakobsen's release clause has been met. And our right back is on the move. Freiburg met it for 17.75 million. I guess we don't have to worry about the promises stuff. Hopefully, Sjögren Jakobsen is still here when we play our match against Seska Moscow. That'd be nice if he was. All right, Vince. It's been a long journey for Vince Brody here. Long journey. Said uh, we could play Torbjörnsson there. Nova Ish can play right back, too. 
So it's not like you're gonna be out of right backs. I'd just love to have two dedicated right backs because I only have four dedicated center backs. We gave him a ton of playing time and he was a regular starter all the way through to winning the league with us. And he actually did end up coming good after two years of not playing well. He's a part of both of our winner's medals in a big way. He is part of the Australian national team and now he is getting his move. Oh, well, a move that we didn't necessarily want to give him, but uh, there he goes. Vince Brody for $3 million to Watford. Yay! We got him. Joshua Aliu. The jolt of life in our midfield that I really believe we need. He's an outstanding player who loves big matches. He attacks. He's 22 years old. He's going to be able to grow with this core, not in potential sense, but in a comfort sense with the team. Uh, and we deferred about half the payments to later. And we've signed Joshua Aliu. Mate Balas, of course, starts instead of Henneman. We're going to flip our forwards. See if that sparks them because they don't seem to be great right now. Uh, Rogel, no. I'm going to start Siogrini Jakobsen. He's got his bidding war going on. He's got Freiburg and Brighton paying $17.75 million for the Norwegian right back. But in the meantime, he's going to start. He's going to play what is likely his last game in a Floridsdorfer shirt, and he's going to do great. <sighs> Cannot allow complacency to undo all of our good work. Even Adrian Rodriguez is fired about that. I trust Balas. I trust Torbjörnsson. I trust this team to get this job done. Good work from Rodriguez there. Rusu. Paul. A lofted ball towards the shortest guy on the team's a bold choice. Whoa! Whoa! Put us in the Europa League group stage, baby. Put us in the Europa League group stage. Christian Kuba continuing to earn that playing time with a sumptuous turn, delivery. Rusu finally showing up and scoring a goal for Florence Dorf for this season. It's about dang time. Tarje Sogren Jakobsen. You wanted that release clause. You got that release clause. And now you're making the most of it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and it's Rusu. Uh, Kristen Kuba. I tell you, it was kind of a it was kind of a roll of the dice. We looked at him and we're like, look, he's played a bit part for us for two years. But even though he turned 22, we're still seeing a lot of this potential in here. We're going to give him a run. And we gave him a run in the Champions League. And he impressed. And he's just continued to do it here. And that's the first goal that Victor Leandro has ever allowed. And we're going to go turn this off again. Because it really, all that offside trap does is make your team just not follow players. You just don't follow runs when you got the offside trap on. You just let him go until way too late. And Seska Moscow is able to pull one back. Oh, what a ball. Play out of defense, no offside trap. I need to make those changes permanent. Why did Sheridan Jakobsen get sent off in his final match? That would be a, that, that, would, that would have some serious swagger to it. What a hold. What? Oh, good save. That was a steamer right there. Ooh, Rusu. Nice pass by Adrian Rodriguez. Oh, Kim! He's got his first call up for South Korea. It's Kim Yin Q, who always seems to find a moment in these big matches for Florence Dorfer. That's a wonderful finish. Oh, oh, yes, he's on. And Mate gets a goal at last against Seska Moscow. That was. 
Zapata, we kind of lulled him to sleep. Rusu knocks it down. Seagrin Jakobsen with another assist. It's a real shame he's leaving. He's playing his best. He's playing the best he ever has on this team. I am also going to miss Tarje Seagrin Jakobsen. He was a fine from the uh, next gen list. We signed him. He demanded a release clause, and that release clause has been met. But obviously, he's contributing. Great I win. Love Clive's character Great win. From ODFC to now. Norcoping beat Shakhtar Donetsk. Wow! That is Norcoping very impressive. Marabor flipped the result in Cyprus to win 4 0 at home in advance. Feyenoord's knocked out Panathinaikos and sent them to the Conference League. Hauk Thessaloniki has beaten Gerezenspor. And they overturn a first leg loss. Slavia Prague beat Astana from Kazakhstan. And Ludogorets beat Valmira. I don't know who this team is. From Latvia. And they only beat them 3-2, to two, which is concerning for Ludogorets. But they are into the Europa League group stage. So, more power to them.